Hi, welcome to in 5 minutes. Next is a very simple problem. There is a given circuit in the question and they have told you to find IB, IC, IE and VCE and the value of beta is 75. First step is to identify the base emitter loop. Whenever we identify the base emitter loop, what we apply, we apply KVL in the base emitter loop and we find the value of IB. Once you know the value of IB, you can find IC, you can find IE, right? And to find VC, what we do? Apply KVL to the collector emitter loop. To start with the analysis, first what we'll do? Apply KVL to base emitter loop. So when you are applying KVL to base emitter loop, first you need to identify the KVL base emitter loop so your base emitter loop starts from this point and it ends over here so when you apply kvl over here what will be the equation we are living with a positive sign so 8 minus ib into rb minus vbe minus ie into re equals to 0 the shortcut method what will have ib equals to 8 minus 0 0.7 divided by rb's 30k plus 1 plus beta times 1.2 k so what will have ib ib will come to around say 60.23 micro ampere so you got the value of ib once you know the value of ib you can find the value of ic as beta times ib so what will be the value of ic ic will be 4.17 milliampere once you know the value of ic you can find the value of ie as ib plus ic so what will be value of IE? 4.5774 milliampere. Now you have got all the values. Now we need to find the value of VCE. So for that what we do? We apply KVL to collector emitter loop. So from where to where? From this point to this point. So when you are applying KVL, equation will be VCC. Again positive negative. We are living with negative sign, so minus IC into RC. We are living with negative sign, so minus VCE. Again, positive negative. We are living with negative sign, so IE into RE will be 0. So you know all the values, you can find the value of VCE as 4.6. This is how we do the analysis for finding all the parameters asked in the question.